how, how's practice continued to be for you guys here the last few weeks? The last week, actually. Very spirited. The kids have been, they've been practicing good and um, making sure we go out and working on our fundamentals and and getting out to each other, basically. And it's, it's, it's been fun with the kids. And actually going out to practice has been a, been a huge football for all of us coaches because we're out there with the kids and moving around. We're having fun with them. Do the, do the current players, do they get excited about signing day two, kind of tracking the guys who are coming in? And yes. Talk about that? Yes, they was talking about it, believe me. They was talking about defensive line. My group was talking about defensive line we signed and, and, you know, different players. Yes, they do. Do you have any un- update on the running back situation? Is Kalen reinstated? Is he practicing? Right now, you know, we we out there practicing and going through the motions. Kalen had his knee operated on. Who? Wh- I, I assume maybe some walk-ons might be playing in the in the Sun Bowl at running back. It's not like you have a lot of depth at that position. Oh, uh, um, Coach Browns, he will have a plan. I tell you that. What's it been like watching Jake Reed carry the load at offensive line? Coaching it up, Jake uh, Reed. Coach uh, Clemens is here too. Is he here? Yes. Okay. Had he missed some time though? He's here. Um, Jake did a good job when Coach Clemens wasn't here for okay. one day, but he, he did a very good job. So it's kind of a similar situation to two years ago in the sense that some coaches are who may not be here next year, but are, are still coaching for the bowl game. How? Um, is, is it similar in, it, in, in terms of how guys are – I know after that game two years ago, you praised a lot of the coaches who stayed for being professional and, and doing a good job. Are you, are you seeing the same thing? Well, I heard uh, the coaches that has been here coaching, they've done a great job with these kids in the last two months. And I, I can't say enough for each coach that's, that has been here. I take my hat off to them. They're professionals. Are the seniors as, just as excited as everybody else, or do you see any extra spirit in them, knowing that this is going to be their last game before the State? Yes, they're very excited. The, the, um, I know Coach uh, Norvell is going to be meeting with all the players to talk, you know, looking ahead to the future, um, and that position coaches are as well. Are you, um, because you've been the interim head coach, have you kind of gotten involved in that in terms of because I'm sure some of the guys, there's uncertainty with a coaching change and things like that. Do you still kind of take a role in that, even besides your, your position, guys? Uh, coach Norvell's the head coach. He's taking care of that. Gotcha. As guys start getting hired to, to round up the assistant staff, do you, do you reach out to guys you know to, to get an idea of, of who they are, or, or do you just kind of wait to, to meet them to, I guess, start learning about the guys you'll be working with? Of course. I come in this, when they come in this building, yeah, I'm going to introduce myself to them. Coach Dillingham said you reached out immediately when he was hired and I think either called him or texted him and said, hey, when you're here, I'll meet with you and talk to you. Why is that so important to you to reach out to? I mean, obviously he's going to be a part of your staff, so that helps. Hey, if he's a coach here at Florida State University, he's part of our family, I'm going to reach out and say hello and um, give him a hand if he needs it. And Coach Fuller said that he didn't understand what those spiked baseballs were when he got here. Are you, uh, some of these guys, you've been here for so long and know so much of this tradition, are they asking you questions about this place and what it's like, been like for the last 30 years? Yes, yes, they're, they're asking me questions and, you know, tell them some of the history and tell them about Florida State University and hey, they're, they're asking good questions. How have you seen the team just interact with Coach Norville? I know he hasn't been here for very long. Well, they on time up there to his meetings, they're talking with him and, and, they feel the energy in Coach Norville. He, he has a lot of energy, and the kids, they like it. They like that energy. Is Pokey a guy, or Ontario Wilson, do you, you guys hope to have him, expect to have him available for the game? Right now, we don't know now. He's just out there running around. We don't know. Uh, any word on Hamsa? Did he, did he have a procedure done on his knee? or? Yes, he had a procedure done. What's yep. Christmas like in the Higgins household? Uh, <laughs> well, my daughter and my wife, uh, we're going to have a good time. I'll tell you that. So we'll, we'll all and the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the cat. Will, uh, will all the players be able to get, get home before you guys have to be back for the, the, the ball game? Or? Yes. And they have to be back Christmas night? Because you guys leave the 26th, right? Yes.